Hey guys, a drone attack has been taken place at UAE Abu Dhabi airport and it has killed three people. UAE government has decided to retaliate against this attack. The attack was carried out by Houthis. Houthis are Shias. They are Yemeni-based militant group. And they are backed by Iran. So this now has, uh, this whole thing has become a regional politics and um, it seems like it is going to be escalating into a war um, because I just saw the interview of Houthi militant uh, group like the lead communicator and he indicated that there will be more strikes so for sure UAE is gonna retaliate very heavily against this group and it will become a war if Iran gets involved and if Iran gets involved it is, it is going to be a war and then Russia is gonna get involved the UAE is gonna get involved US is gonna get involved now the question is uh, like whether or not Biden, Biden will release a statement, like a strong statement saying that supporting UAE, UAE or um, because they don't like Iran, US don't like, doesn't like Iran. So, um, so this is where things are, oil prices are escalating soaring to like a new high and in my opinion Biden is a very weak president so he might not react and another thing is Russia is uh, ready to attack Ukraine so if this um uh, tension or war escalates between UAE and Houthis then there will be more pressure on uh, so then Russia will have a benefit of like a war already being going on in another part of the world so they can carry out another war in this region that will escalate uh, oil prices even further so US, US is now uh, on a tough spot and, um, and all this is all happening while Omicron is spreading so it's, it's, it's tough for um, Biden now. Let's see how he is gonna respond to this. I think he's gonna make a bunch of a statement that Huey shouldn't retaliate, shouldn't attack, blah blah blah. But they're saying they will attack. So um, let's see what happens. But UAE, UAE for sure, they're gonna retaliate against uh, Houthis, and Houthis are backed by Iran. So it's uh, let's see what Iran says, um, and let's see now the oil prices are rising so tesla stock i think is looking really attractive because it's an ev market it's an ev company um people are not gonna afford hundred dollars or 120 dollars barrel uh oil prices and with fed hikes this year i think um the economy is already really bad so it is going to be a tough uh, market going forward but Chevron and Exxon Mobil stocks are going to be flourish um, because of the rising oil prices and also the Tesla is going to um, Tesla will look good It'll probably go up to 1500 if this war plays out.